Namaste and welcome to this exciting episode of Sathology, Debunking Mythology. Sathology means science of truth or study of truth. Opposite of that is mythology, which means science or study of a fake life imagination. Aaj humare saath, aap video ko jiru like, share, subscribe jiru kariega. Aaj humare saath bade special guest hai. Good friend and uh, I, even though I don't deserve it, he calls me to his movie premieres. So without delay, let us welcome Shri Mukesh. Modi. Welcome. Namaste Aditi ji. Namaste. Thank you. Bhoat bhoat aapka dhanyavad. Aapne mujhe aapke channel pe aapke studio mein invite kiya. And saath mein aapke saare darsoko ka bhoat bhoat dhanyavad. Aur hum sab aapko jo pyaar dete aur darsak jo aapko pyaar dete. You are doing a, ek cheez mein bata tha ho. Very few Indian Americans do things the way you do. You, instead of you talking about it on, or forwarding messages, I see you taking action, like doing things, getting things done. Or I saw I was part of your struggle. Uh, you made the entire movie, you know, the first time you spoke to me and I was not able to help you. And I can tell everyone, viewers also. Uh, and you said, I'm going to make it and it's going to happen. And then next time I saw you were in India shooting. And then you came back, you said movie is ready. Then you invited me to a private screening in LA. And I saw the movie and I couldn't move away from the movie theater. I watched the full movie. Normally, I don't watch any movie full. I was there, sitting there. So first of all, tell me, what is the inspiration with all this experience? And now viewers know the entire story. Mm -hmm. What is my experience and how I was involved, zero involvement. Uh, so tell me, what is your inspiration behind this? Because it is a deep love of Bharat which is talking here. Exactly. You 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 asked me a question and you gave me answer already. Mm -hmm. So this is just a love for our country or for our motherland. Okay. And without love, without care, you cannot do it, right? Like once you care for your family or for your kids, right? Automatically everything happens, right? You do, you go out of the way. So if you want to do something, see what is my inspiration is that. One thing is the fact of the life is the one of the, the biggest truth and the fact of the life is a death. Everybody has to die one day, no matter what. You don't know when, right? And the only human being out of 84 lakhs of living being on this earth, only human being can do something, right? Other people, other living being, they don't do anything. Means they, they just leave and they die. You know, they are doing their karm and go. But human being can do something for others. For the other people, the people who are uh, misguided, uh, the people who are not educated, uh, the people, let's say, the needy people. You can do a lot of things for the, for, the, uh, for the people, for the human being, you know. So I believe in the humanity, you know, is the number one culture and the number one much more bigger than anything else. I always say first you are human, then you are anybody else. The humanity should be there and that's what I believe and I want to do something uh, for my motherland, for my people. So that's what and I found this is one of the greatest tool uh, to reach out to the people. Like what you are doing uh, through your YouTube channel, right? You reach out to many, many people, right? But this is another way of reaching out to people. That when I made my first film, the elevator it reached more than 10 millions i said wow this is the one of the greatest thing to reach out to people give you nice messages so that's why i chose this and you know i decided to make something uh, which will be good for the for the community for the people so one of the i witnessed the whole struggle and uh, actually my heart also went down when the indian censor board rejected your movie for no pretext. I don't think so. This was a movie which was in any way, I mean, there were other movies even more direct than this one, but this was cut down. So what was your feeling when it, when it happened? See, as you, you've been from the day one, Aditya Ji, you were there from the beginning. When I even started to, even before I started the shoot, the plan when I made it, you were there from the beginning. I, I requested help. Uh, seek help from a lot of community people. Some people could help me, some people could not. But they were always there, stand with me, next to me. Okay, 
but I got a lot of moral support from the people. And you too saw the struggle and I was there. Like I really sacrificed my family life. I sacrificed my other business. Seven months away from the family. I was seven months in India last year to, to complete this film. And because this is like, I want to really give a good message. It's very important for us. This is based on this coming election on 2024. So we are motivating the people to vote through this film. Okay, you saw the film, so you know it anyway. But I just want to tell your viewers, right? What is the film about? Like we are motivating the uh, the people to vote. And uh, when they go and vote, and they, you know, we request them to choose the best people you think, the who are the good leader is. We are not telling anyone whom to vote, whom not to vote. You think he's the best person for your country? Vote for that person. It could be anyone. So, you know, so yes, when I, when, uh, when, uh, and it was delaying the process every day, right? So I was like really stressed out. Like I used to call like once first, once, first they saw the film, they rejected the title. First they rejected the title. Then I had to change the title. The first title for your viewers I want to tell, the title of the film was 2024 Election War. That was the name of the title first, okay? And it was approved by uh, the Indian Motion Pictures Producers Association means they approved the title, then what is the problem, right? So anyway, so the, we had to change the title from 2024 election war to uh, to 2024 election, uh, so to political war. So this is the name of the film now, political war. But then after we we managed to change the change the name, then after they, they saw the film, they put it on a revised committee. The revised committee must see the film within 15 days. They took three months. So like every, for me, every every second is a, is a, is a crucial for me. And then after they rejected the film, of course, my heart broke completely because I, I really worked so hard. Uh, you know that very well. And um, so, yeah, I had to I had to face this challenge, you know, whatever it is. I had to live with it. I had no other choice. It means I could have gone to court. I will go to court again, but it would have wasted so much of time. Then I concentrated more to release the film overseas. Okay, because if I would have fight if I fought with the court and all that of course I know I'm going to win because they should not have any right to reject the film they can ask me to cut give me some edit change some scenes they just can't reject the film and they know also they rejected the film because it's it's very sensitive film I think as far they what they think and they know once I go to court and you know by the time it, and you know it's going to take time and the election will be over and then maybe they will approve after that but I need to release the film before the election because it's very important for us to release the film uh, because we want to bring the awareness. Just example, what is what's happening right now in India? Like Sunday's Kali, okay, Haldwani. Now, if we have you have seen the film, we are showing them the film that if that film would have come, uh, the Sunday's Kali would not have happened because the people would got aware that what's going on, who's behind it, what the people are trying to do. Because at the end, the common man dies. Aam Adni mar jate hai. Aam janta mar jati hai. On the right. But the politician don't. They play with your emotion. They play with your mind. And, you know, that's what they, that's called dirty politics. So that's the, that's the only thing we are showing in the film. We are bringing the awareness. So, of course, yeah, my heart broke. But then I had to live with it. I had no other choice. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you fall, you get up, you, you start walking again. No, the, the, the purpose of the filmmaking is to give important messages to the people as well, which you're doing yes. it. Yes. Because not just it should be entertainment, but also it is a messaging. Uh, because many of the messaging gets lost. And in fact, uh, many of the Hollywood movies tell us what about is going to, what about to happen in the future. Exactly. Uh, many movies were about COVID type of circumstance yeah. released before. Uh, there is one uh, important thing comes up and you correctly said, I've been a witness to your struggle and I saw the whole thing and I can connect with you because I go through that every day. And, and it's the same thing which you are, it's a different circumstances. Struggle is the same. So what do you think could have happened differently if there was an ideal situation? Like someone like, uh, someone talking about Jewish Holocaust and Schindler's list and, and someone like that and coming on the stage. And the, all the world governments were supporting that Holocaust cause, I mean, the atrocities, and then doing it. What would have happened that time? 
this would, have, this would have been amazing. It'll be like a super duper hit film. Uh, the people would love the film. The show would have been full uh, because I know the the way we made the film, the messages we are giving with a lot of dialogues, so many messages, not even one message. Every every step, there's so many dialogues, and every dialogue has a message. So this message, of course, it, and I'm and I'm sure, uh, which I feel in my heart strongly that over the Indian Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Ji Modi, is going to definitely ask a question to the censor board that why you did not pass this film when this film is doing giving so many positive messages, why you stopped it. That's what I feel they're going to, he's going to ask question uh, to, the, to the censor board in India. You know, one thing really... I was really surprised. You, what you are showing in the movie, and and I've seen the dialogues, and every dialogue resonates, and the characters that you have chosen, and for the viewers, you yourself have written the dialogues, isn't it? The yes. entire script writing is done by you. Not not the entire script. No, I wrote the story. Yes, some of the dialogue I wrote. A lot of other dialogues was written by uh, my script writer. Like he wrote it. Like of course we hired a script writer. Like he wrote the he wrote the script. Uh, so. His name is Manoj Pandey. So Manojji Pandey wrote a lot of script. Of course, he wrote the script, actually, I would say. Of course, but we I was with him on the phone, constantly changing the dialogue, changing the scenes. Like, he wrote most of the script, I would say. Yes, of course, I wrote some of the script. Just example, the shoot was done in USA. I wrote the entire script for that. Yes, I'm a, I also write script. Yes, I have another film coming in. Uh, the script is ready for that, which I wrote the script myself. Yeah, but then yeah, some of the dialogue which I wrote, some of the most of the dialogue he wrote. No, and and then uh, the characterization, choosing the characters, and it was phenomenal. Like every single thing, the Muta Bhai, and I exactly yeah. The, the, see, the idea is we want to reach the idea is we see again we are not here to uh, uh, to hurt anyone, and we are not putting anybody. See, but let's say if I want to reach to the audience, just example, let's say I want to show a character of. Any politician, like Indian politician, I would say, right? How the Indian politician dress, kurta, the the vest, right? That's the normal, or maybe khadi, right? So then people can identify that I'm talking about one of the politician here, one of the leader here, right? If if, if it's a police inspector, sub inspector, I have to give him that dress, right? The costume of the of the of the of the sub inspector. Then the only the only the person will connect. So if I'm talking about the Home Minister of India, I need to come out with some some kind of character which can match with the Home Home Minister of India. It doesn't mean that I'm portraying him. That's not truth because we are putting all the fiction story, and then we are talking about and we are not even giving his name. Idea is to just reach out to the audience that what the message we are bringing it to them, not hurting anyone. That's not our plan. That's not our intention. So, you know, we have to come up with something where people can understand their home, what we're talking about. Very true. Very true. Now, if I compare the 2024 global inter elections, like almost like uh, 45 to 60 countries are going to poll, it is said that the democracy is being exercised by almost one fifth of, I think, half of humanity, we will say, some people say, half of humanity. Yes, and uh, and we see a similar story. Farmers protest all over the world: Poland, Germany, France, Canada, and India. Mm -hmm. And farmers protest you don't see in the U.S. or in other countries, some other countries in the West, U.K. Also, I'm not surprised because probably we are not. U.S. is the biggest grain producer in the world, but still we don't see that here. But eventually, 2024 is going to be a very tumultuous year. So how do you think the Indian issues which you are seeing, which you have predicted in your movie, before these things happened, you already predicted it. And how did you get that foresight that this is going to be a, a this kind of scenario? It's a common scenario. Is See, because see, I follow politics very closely. I read about it and you're like, 
and you know like i don't know it's a sense of humor and i could feel you know and say as you know that we are sitting in america we watch world economy right we are not like sitting in, in india where we only only think about india we th- we see everything and you know what when you see that and when you see the agenda you know we get to know a lot of things you know behind the scene what can happen what the plan is so you know we know that like who's behind and you know and who's doing it so normally we know because i i'm i'm involved in politics i mean i've connected with a lot of people uh so i know like uh, something could have happened and what the plan could have like i'm still thinking the whatever the riots was has happened in in uh, sandesh khali and haldwani it could have it, it might happen more places too it would happen to more places and i won't be surprised uh, before the election that there will be more riots and uh, maybe that's the you know that's what because see what's happening they just want to bring botanic arajakta leke aana right you know like uh, some kind of disturbance they want to bring it before the election right like just example means as you just mentioned about the farmer protest right i don't know it's really farmer protest i don't know is it true or only why the farmer protest only in punjab means you know why we don't uh, the other part of india they don't uh, uh, they don't uh, agree like there's no agriculture there no farmers there why they never protested and why is before the election so what what they are trying to do here they are making the con- country unstable that's their plan so maybe they want to delay the election or maybe they don't want to have the election they want to bring some kind of disturbance that's what they're doing that's what i feel this is my personal opinion that's what i feel and you know i think i i i should make film on that too you know that that's what what is the real agenda behind it very true because the the entire farmer protest in india has been exposed now is no longer farmer protest it's a is a anti national anti india protest now it's been exposed by the social media as well as mainstream now as sandesh khali was a incident which was happening for last 45 years 45 years yes and now the tmc has been caught the mamata banerjee's party has been caught right now uh, one question comes in now coming back to the movie in in this in this movie you know and for viewers 23rd february day after tomorrow it is being released so, so by the time you see the video will be tomorrow tomorrow 23rd february is what the movie is being released in all theaters in san diego also amc 2.0 amc 2.0 in mission valley and in the other cities also do check out i'll put the link of the all the theaters which is being released in the video itself so one thing is there when will you think do you think will have to have an impact first you are having an american release and then the indian release probably so we don't know about the india release yet aditya ji of course like we would have we would love to because see, this is this film is made for indian audience this film is made for indians and not for american audience we cannot even vote right and we are talking about voting right we, we want uh, the indian people to go and vote because hardly the people vote there so of course we made for indian audience so our and uh, we want uh, uh, maybe i'm going to edit the film and i spoke with the lawyer already he gave me 24 points to edit the film out of that uh, 70% we already edited it 30% is pending so i'm going to re edit the other 30% and then i'm going to reapply to the uh, to the to the uh, to the censor and hopefully it might approve and once it approved then we will show it to indian audience but it could be possible that might we might not be able to uh, show it before the election unless and until we go to the any uh, streaming platform ott platform or we release on youtube so that i will only decide after how uh, the movie runs in uh, in us uk and canada that's where we are releasing uh, so we are releasing in as an audience for your viewers that we are releasing in all over usa uk and canada so watch it all over canada all over uk all over usa every city in the usa uh, we are opening uh, so please watch the film uh, on 23rd february uh, until 28 23 to 28 five six days film so in uh, so now it's a primary elections are also going on the primaries are starting 23rd mm-hmm. ending on 5th march 
in the US. So yes. the primary is also going on. So it's coinciding with the American election season. I don't know how many Indian Americans can vote in this primary, but if you are registered, do vote. Yeah. And voting is really important. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a power. You know, you can see they otherwise don't complain. You either live with whatever life you are living, you know what I'm saying? If you want to bring good things, it doesn't matter what you like, it's it's up to you what you think. I think you should have common sense to understand that who is better for your country. Right? Who, who is the better country? Who's the better? I mean, it's just is my personal opinion. And I'm I'm not scared. Uh, that I think uh, as per my opinion, the Joe Biden is the worst president for the for this country. And and uh, people who have not voted please do vote and uh, i am also the poll officer of my region so you i will I, I ask all of you to vote uh, one question in in from the indian context comes in because you are, you just said that you are a you see the politics you study politics what's going on now what are the major challenges for you know a lot of people are campaigning that don't vote for uh, Modi don't vote for particularly Modi ji don't vote and and this is what is going on like uh, so what do you think is a major challenge what is going on from the western perspective so i tell you one thing first of all understand why the people are talking about that is very important to know that first understand the person let's talk about i'll, give, I'll take some time okay let's talk about modi who is modi since how long he is in politics since how long he has given his life for the country. For how long? Was he in the power when, when he started the politics? No, he was not in the power. But he gave his life for the country. Does, does he have a bank account? I don't think so. He has a bank account. Like almost 10 years, right? Almost 10 years. He has not taken, he has not taken any leave. He's not on vacation. He did not take any leave. He's working constantly. He sleeps three or four hours. He's working and I've seen him working myself with my own eyes because I see that one after another, he goes to this meeting, to another meeting, to another meeting, uh, take the flights and then go to the different country, have a meeting with, and that's what he does. So tell me where, what he's doing wrong. So the people, first of all, so understand what kind of person he is. Does he really love the country or he's just faking it up? So if you, you, you should be smart enough to understand that if you talk about any other politician in India, other than Modi, the other than Modi, then all other politicians of different parties, what they're doing, their family is running the business. Their family is in, in the politics. You talk about Lalu Prasad Yadav, you talk about uh, uh, Gandhi family, or you talk about any other people, their family is in the, they're running it. You talk about uh, Kamlesh, uh, the, what is his name? Uh, Mulayam Singh Yadav, his son now, Lalu Prasad's son now, the entire BJP family, entire Thakre families and everyone. So this is a like family run organization, but not, not with Modiji. If you see about his family, his brother and sister and mother, how they used to live their life, how they used to live their life. So what you're talking about, like if you're talking to somebody, blaming somebody, first understand the person. Because does he have any corruption charges? Only people talk about the Godra, about him. Whenever the things comes, they only talk about Godra. Whenever the Hindu thing comes, they only talk about, uh, about Godra. What other thing they have to talk about? Nothing. If you talk about any other, who did 9-11? Who did so many other terrorist attacks? Do we talk about that? No. But when we talk about, oh, Gandhiji Association, the Hindu person killed them. A lot of other assassinations happened. Does anybody talk about who did that? Oh, because he was Hindu. So you want like, again, again, I'm not against any religion or something. I'm just bringing the facts. If you want to be, you want to be, if you want to talk about it, then talk about other things also at the same time. Why only talk about that per, that particular moment and then you, are, you want to just uh, uh, destroy Hindu ideology and what is in your mind? We don't understand that. So first understand who is Modi ji, what he wants to do it and why people are behind it. Maybe or maybe their agenda, what they want to do, it is not happening. And it could be possible if they, got, they are getting funded by somebody else. See, there is all the game of the money. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they are poor. They don't have money. They don't have a money to survive. They don't know what they're going to eat in the evening. 
So like that kind of people, they get money, they will go and protest. Because I just, I just got a, I just got one video from somebody. He said, you know, I don't want to go back to home. I want, I'm happy here to protest. I said, why? No, I'm getting a food here. I'm getting a proper sleep. I had got nothing to do it. When I go back, my I'll go back. I I I have to work. I'm not working here, and I'm making money. I'm getting I'm I'm getting paid, and I'm getting um, uh, food. I'm getting food, and I'm very happy here. That's what he said. So the people, just example, you know, I heard also when Black Lives Matters happened in America, people were getting paid to come to protest. So now the people who don't have money, they don't have job. What they will do, they will come to protest and they will get money and they're happy with that. So, but somebody else's agenda is to break down India. Their main agenda to break India. Now you want to fall into the trap. That's what we are trying. We are showing exactly in the film that how the external power is trying to break India. So if you love India or you are part of India, you think that India is your country, then understand the India, understand everybody else around you read about them know about them how what was lalu yadav before and what is today what was mulayam singh yadav before what is this today who they were where they came from what was their background and then you see the background of modi ji also it's not that that i'm a fan of him or something like that he's doing an amazing job as per my opinion okay and we have seen it i'm i'm in this country since 1994 after 2014, the amount of respect we got, okay, we, we never had it before. And that's the truth. And True. the truth is when he comes, you see the his aura. If the, the entire world is, is praising him, only we, some people, some percentage, okay, how, what is the percentage of, of the, of, of the, how much percentage of Punjab farmers give to the nation? What is the percentage? It's very tiny. And that too chemically laden food because of green revolution. Too much chemicals. Exactly. So what I'm saying, I think we should not worry about that. Um, uh, people will talk about it. Only the problem is the fake media is more stronger than the real media. That's why the people get scared and all that. But if you, you go to India, I hardly see any problem. People love each other. I don't see the only there is a fake agenda, the, the media, the fake media putting so much fear into the front of the people. You know, that's what they do. Uh, and I don't see any reason that we should be worried. I think that India is going to go big uh, and it can it will it will go number one country. That's what I feel. Very, very succinctly and very concisely put. Now, one, the West has, you know, you have been living in West. And, and I have been a poll officer for many elections in San Diego County. And uh, so how do you, so in the West, we have very controlled democracy. The first democratic step starts with who can be on the ballot. And that is a very, very selective list who goes yes. on the ballot. Yes. And then we have the electoral college, mm -hmm. you know, the delegates vote. And and sometimes what happens, the popular vote doesn't get into the final seat selection. We have seen that Al Gore, Al Gore example, that how yes. Al Gore election and other people who have got popular vote. And then the West promotes an anarchist democracy. So we all know the how the democracy originated, where the West, you know, rejected Athenian democracy of Aristotle and put the constitutional republic framework. This is what we are living in. But when they expect other countries to follow is anarchist democracy where they can freely interfere in any democratic process. So do you think that this is going on that the all the democracies of the world have and this is the same story across Africa, same story across Asia and now the snake is biting them hard back. Same story happening, repeating is like my book Karma is a Bitch hitting back in Europe and probably hitting back in USA too. So how do people should be aware of this double standards of the West also? See, only I would only request and suggest use your brain. Use your own brain. The God has given you brain. Use your common sense. Do not listen to this nonsense for, of anybody. 
do not believe on anyone you you are smart enough everyone is smart enough to understand what is wrong and what is right so don't fall into that trap when that's what i would say nothing else. because you can you can do whatever you want to keep saying it if they don't want to listen to you they don't want to understand then is their problem that's what i would say uh, aditya ji thank you i think mukesh ji thank you so much for coming on the show and for viewers especially in the us do watch it if the video is as soon as you watch this video book your tickets in your local you can check it out in local theaters you know i think it's amcs mostly amcs and uh, check it out locally and do book a ticket attend the video show i am sure you'll be entertained like anything if you have been studying indian indian politics this is the greatest satire you can see and very educative one so thank you all very much and thank you mukesh modi ji for coming on the show today thanks a lot yes and educating us about this thank you namaste jai jagannath yeah.